Look at this bloody day out there. Too lovely. Anyway. Uncanny X-Men. By Rosenberg and Salvador La Roca. Number 20. Reminds me of the old cards from the early 90s I used to get. It's almost like Rosenberg just got a stack of them cards and just, I'm going to throw this character in. I'm going to throw this character in. And this one. This time. Because <laughs> it's a whole bunch of characters from back then. By the by, that Will Spertatio cover. This is actually the next cover, but I cheated. Use this one. Because I like this one more. The syringe wasn't going to work. We're anti-drugs, man. We're anti-drugs. But basically, um, spoilers. I had, so if you haven't read it, you might not want to hear. Emma Frost and her deal with the O-N-E, the one... Another card from back then with Jim Lee art. <laughs> uh, ends up needing the help of the people she's been trying to brainwash. It's nice to see, by the way, Juggernaut there. The Hollow Husk of Banshee. What the heck is the deal with that? He hasn't said anything this whole time. Uh, the That character who is made of the techno-organic virus or something named Warlocks or something. He hasn't said much of anything. That... Anyway, it's mostly about the Summers brothers uh, as the leads. Wolverine, Magic, the sister of Colossus, multiple man people like that. Pretty good series, pretty good, but uh, it's going to be irrelevant pretty soon as Jonathan Hickman comes in and people are pretty stoked for that. Uh, Mr. Mick overrated himself. Oh, I'm not supposed to say that. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Anyway, uh, I'll definitely give it a try and see what I think. Heard it has a high price tag, like five ninety nine or something ridiculous on number one. I'm, anyway, still curious, but it was nice to see the great Salvador La Roca art here. Still at least another issue ahead, this cover right here. And we'll see what happens. You guys have a great day. Take care. Adios.